Really? Another one? Another one. <laughs> so yes, unfortunately, today we're talking about the next 365 days. No, God, please, no! It's the third movie in this franchise. I can't believe it's a franchise now. Another one. It's literally called The Next 365 Days. So if you go up to someone and you're like, hey, have you seen The Next 365 Days? You're saying two things at once. <laughs> because you're actually saying the title of the movie. Whatever, it's stupid. Anyway, the last movie was a nightmare to review. Not only did I sit through the movie twice, once to record the initial reaction with my wife and the next time to write the script and then I recorded it, there was the editing process and then I posted it, it was greenlit, but then three hours after posting it, YouTube decided to demonetize and age restrict it. So what did I do? I took it down because that's basically a death sentence for a video. So I put that video into to premiere and I edited the shit out of it. I scrubbed that video like crazy, centering any sort of sexual activity, putting Nick Cage faces literally everywhere. And yeah, obviously I had to hint at sexual stuff during this review because that's practically all the movie is. I thought it was all good to go. So I rendered the video, posted it, and it was greenlit for another four hours. And then they demonetized and age restricted it again. again. I can't win. All that work was basically for nothing. I mean, yeah, it still got hundreds of thousands of views and thank you so much to my loyal fan base. I love you guys. It just sucks now because that video is dead in the water. So for this movie, I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna watch the movie right now with you guys. That way I don't have to put in as much work. I don't have to suffer as much. And if YouTube dings me again, it'll suck. But at least I didn't have to watch the movie twice. I mean, it is only what, two hours long? How bad could it be? <laughs> at least I brought pizza pillows. This movie, just like the last one, was written and directed by Barbara Bialoas and Thomas Mendez. Wait, I take that back. This one was written by someone named Thomas Klimala and then Blanca Lipinska, which I think is the author of the books that these movies are based off of. I could introduce the characters again, but I'm not going to. If you would like me to introduce you to this trash pile, then go watch my original video on the first movie and then watch my second video if YouTube will even allow you to find it and then come back to this one. Let's continue and dive right on in to Laura and Massimo sexual adventure. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I'm super happy to be sponsoring this company because I was using them prior to being approached to sponsor them. Basically, they're a meal delivery service. If you're a very busy person like me, then HelloFresh might make your life a lot simpler and a lot healthier. HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door. HelloFresh works with your schedule. The plans are flexible and you can change your meal preferences, update your delivery days, and even change change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. The meals they deliver are foolproof. They include step-by-step -step recipes, and they can all be completed in 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping, so it's not only convenient, it's cost-efficient. HelloFresh can also make you eat more sustainably. They're the first carbon-neutral meal kit company, and nearly all their packaging material is recyclable. Their recipes include pre-portioned ingredients, which means less prep time, less cleaning, and less wasted food. HelloFresh cuts down your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. I'm a very big fan of HelloFresh and it encourages me to spend time with my wife cooking so it doesn't only enrich my life, it enriches my family's life. I highly encourage you guys to try HelloFresh for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code ElvisTheAlien65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code ElvisTheAlien65 for 65% off. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the review. Which won't make me shiver. Right away with the terrible music. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Laura's friend? Wait, did someone die? Did Laura die? I... She's really having a photo shoot when she's crying. She's dead? She's not dead. Is she really dead? That'd be so funny. The war between our families will be bloody. Basically in the last movie, she got shot. It would be good for us to forget about these unfortunate things. There's no way she's dead. Take your dog. This guy just called him a dog. So according to Massimo, a dog fucked his wife then. Oh wait, no, they didn't have sex. Laura was just dreaming about them boning, right? Got it remember, you know, because immediately after watching the last movie, I tried to, you know, dump it out of my brain. Oh my God. 
They bamboozled me. It was for his brother. Why are they mourning him? He was kind of a psycho. Oh, baby girl. Damn it, I was hoping Laura would be dead. That would have been so funny. Come on, just don't. These people have been together for a while now. Can they just slow it down? Like, this guy just came back from a funeral. Is it time to do this right now? Nice. The horniest people on earth. <laughs> the doctor said that it's too soon. <laughs> he didn't call her baby girl. I'm very surprised. So Laura's friend was crying at that photo shoot because she missed Laura. Oh my god, so Laura's like, I can't believe all these people are trying to control my life and tell me what I need. I mean, clearly she needs that because she's still with this guy. She was almost killed twice because of this relationship. You have meeting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so mad like his his wife sexually walks into a meeting and disturbs it on purpose And she's like, all right, come see me, please. But then he just gets up anyway Obviously the meeting, meeting wasn't very important More bad music. Oh my god <laughs> Do you have to include the entire act? Most movies, they start them, you know? And then they cut away to a different scene. Like, you get the idea. They're so expressive, too. These people that have meetings with Mazuma must be so irritated. <laughs> like, they know he's banging his wife in the other room. Laura's friend wants to know all the juicy details between Laura and Mazuma when they're doing it. It's not like their relationship is new or anything, so... It's kind of weird to ask that kind of question. Does Laura tell her friend all the details about every time they bang? Then that must be like the only thing they talk about, right? Then there's like really bad music on top of these people having lunch. Look at these cool, nice meals they're having. Look at these really cute meal. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm still confused why her friend was crying in the beginning. She clearly wasn't crying over Mosmo's dead brother. Where did you get my number? You know. Is this Nacho, her boyfriend from the last movie? I can't forget about you. If she wants nothing to do with him, then why even answer the phone? Maybe she secretly misses him. That's gonna be a conflict in this movie, which was pretty much the same conflict in the last movie. <laughs> Wait, Laura still thinks Massimo cheated on her? Does that mean she never brought that up to Massimo? So she just went back to Massimo and tried to forget that that ever happened without talking about it? There's so much B-roll in this movie. Random scenes of them dancing, shopping, eating, with bad music in the background. Basically a music video like all three of these movies are 50% music video <laughs> this guy just starts like molesting Laura's friend of course nachos here because why wouldn't he be oh and Massimo wow now they just went to a VIP room to watch a stripper okay and Massimo is forcing her to leave. And then Laura's like, no, stay. What's happening? Oh my God. Like if Massimo wanted a private room, he could clearly find one, right? He's a pretty powerful guy. Uh, here we go. Oh my God. Man. Laura seems very upset that her husband cheated on her by bringing him into this room with another woman. Okay, what is happening? Oh my God, come on. Like, I know what I was signing up for when I watched this. It doesn't make it any less painful. Oh my God. The music literally never ends. And all of it is so bad. Every song is worse than the last one. <laughs> It's kind of insane that these people filmed these two movies back to back. That's so much gratuitous sex scenes. Oh my god, thank god it's over. For now. <laughs> I'm pretty positive there's gonna be another one. Very soon. You ran away with them when you thought that I was cheating on you and Anna. Okay, so they had talked about Massimo cheating, but not actually cheating. Call baby water. Basically the same movie. She's dreaming about banging Nacho again. They gotta show us his his hairy ass too. Like the guy switched. It's Massimo now. My God, you're so wet. <laughs> My God, you're so wet. Ew, the licking, sucking sounds. Come on, bro. I think I have hangover. Wait. Is she awake now? She woke up to Mosmo doing it and she was not into it because she wished it was Nacho. Wow, it seems like she should break up with this guy. Something she should have done a long time ago. Is this guy really doing that in the shower? Why? <laughs> Just throws his shit on the grass. Rude. Not only is this guy super abusive and a criminal, he also litters. Could he get much worse? I don't think so. There's nobody here then. I guess Laura is a dress designer now. Cool. 
She's focusing on her career now because her marriage is falling apart and we can just ignore that. Let's focus on something else and it will just fix itself. Time cures everything. What was Massimo doing right there? Was he picking his teeth? What, so they just don't talk anymore? <laughs> These mobsters are, are at a club and the server is wearing this like dominatrix stuff very strange uh establishment that these people are at god these songs are so so bad <laughs> man mosmo's really into this person oh my god <laughs> like i'm about to fall asleep all of this stuff just like blends together it's just like the last movie. It just never ends. Yeah, because we're going to like this <laughs> fashion fair. Now they're super excited because they get to go to a fashion fair and show off all their clothes that they've been designing. What is happening in this movie? I feel like this is worse than the last one because this one's kind of like going off the rails a little bit. There's no real conflict aside from their relationship falling apart. In the last one, at least Massimo had this twin brother that was a little bit of a bamboozle for the audience. And then there was the whole nacho thing. I mean, we're halfway through this movie and there's literally no reason that anybody should want to continue watching. Like I might as well just be watching paint dry. Every second is one second less that I have to watch this movie. So you know, it's kind of a good thing that the movie keeps going because eventually it'll end. Now we have this scene of Laura's friend dancing and drinking in a room. For what reason though? There's so many scenes of these characters just like doing nothing. <laughs> While this scene is a nothing scene, at least the characters were talking to each other. It wasn't just a music video. Like this next scene of someone surfing wow and now they're walking a beach and checking guys out there's so much nothing that i feel like i'm standing in the middle of a void maybe that would be nicer oh my god the surfing champion is nacho i recognize that guy from the last movie laura loves this guy she was dreaming about him not too long ago oh my god he's with another girl me. Oh. And they went to a restaurant and had some wine. Now they're at a bar drinking. Just more music video. This franchise is basically MTV from hell. And she's having yet another dream of having a lot of fun with Nacho. Once again, we're shown way too much detail. At least this one has kind of interesting lighting with the beams of moonlight coming through. Is she finally awake? Oh my god, it's Nacho! He found her somehow! Or not. This guy looks so goofy up close. <laughs> oh, never mind, he's not there. She just wanted him to be there. And now they're at another club. You could literally leave in the middle of this movie, take like a 20 minute dump, come back, and not have missed anything. I don't think you can do that with any other movie in existence, except for this one. Yet more music video stuff. I think they added all these music video sections because without them, this movie wouldn't be considered a feature film because it'd be too short. Now they're having a fashion show runway scene with bad music. <laughs> the girls leave and the scene just continues on. It just shows like five more models walk down the runway. I'll go to my room by my own. What's going on? Now this guy is trying to deliver Olga to her room and lock her in there because she's too drunk or something. <laughs> then there's a super long scene of Olga trying to escape her apartment. Okay, now Laura is with Nacho in a car. Finally, the plot moves forward. Well, at least it would if they said anything to each other. Instead, she just gets out and leaves. No way. <laughs> Oh my god, the music is so relentless. It's hilarious. Everything was so perfect until you showed up. Everything was perfect until Nacho showed up? What? You were kidnapped. Oh my god, and then she starts making out with him. Things were so good till you showed up. What, so Laura can't open her own car doors now? Clearly she doesn't give a shit about her marriage if she's willingly putting herself in this situation with Nacho. Uh... They're gonna bang on the beach, really? She's showing some willpower, it's unbelievable. I will drive you. 
You've already lost your way once. The dialogue's so cheesy. Oh my goodness. I mean, if that wasn't the most predictable thing on earth. <laughs> Nacho licks his lips. <sighs> I'm so over this, man. Like, if there's another one of these movies, I'm not watching it. We gotta make sure we film them doing it in every single position. We gotta make this as unwatchable as possible. Everybody watching this video, please take this as a lesson. This is the last thing you want to do if you want to, um, you know, fix your relationship. I mean, it's not really a bad thing in Laura's case because she'd just be leaving the guy who kidnapped her. This moment, I- Laura. Laura. I will wait for you until you're ready. Wow, who could have guessed it? Nacho's a better guy than Massimo. Whoa! I mean, Nacho could be Keemstar and he would still be a better person than Massimo. Where have you been? Uh-oh, now she has to confront her psycho boyfriend or husband or whoever. Man, this is quite the pickle. How do you, you know, leave a hyper-possessive psycho like Massimo? Well, you do it much earlier. Laura fell in love with this guy somehow. I'm one step away from asking you for divorce. When I got shot, our relationship almost died with me. I kind of forgot that Laura was shot. She's naked a bunch in this movie. I'm wondering if she actually has a bullet wound. This white shit replaced me. This white shit has replaced me? What? And do not think of following me. Laura! Laura! Fuck! <laughs> Please be almost over. Oh God! I still have half an hour left. Ugh. I return to Sicily. Wait, what? Massimo is actually respecting her wishes and leaving? There's no way that that's in character. This guy would not accept that. He would just lock her in a basement. It worked the first time. <laughs> oh my God, Laura's so upset. Massimo made it super easy on you. So then Laura goes to her family's place and now they're having dinner. Is there a movie more boring than this? <laughs> They don't even put half of the dialogue that should be in this movie in this movie. They replace it with music and they just put in a bunch of weird angles of these people talking. You don't even get to hear what they're saying. I mean, I don't care what, what they're saying, you know, I, I, kind of, I couldn't give a shit. But still. And her mother gives her some pretty good words of advice. It's coming a little bit too late though. Something's got a is this yet another dream? Oh my god, she's having... <laughs> she's dreaming of having a three-way with these guys. No way. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> now there's a scene of her hanging out with her dad. There's so many scenes of people just hanging out, you know. Her dad isn't really a great dad, huh? He just wasn't around during the last two movies at all when his daughter was kidnapped, when she randomly came out of nowhere and was engaged to this mob boss guy. There's just randomly two nuns having dinner next to them. <laughs> Random. Oh no, Massimo knows that Laura banged Nacho and he's really upset. Why was this movie made when it's about nothing? Is this just gonna be like a 20 movie series about her finally learning to leave these abusive men? Is that Nacho? <laughs> I want to meditate with you in Bali. It's so funny how every bit of his dialogue in this scene is is ADR. Finally, what felt like a two hour car ride, Laura and Nacho finally make it to Massimo's place. So Laura can confront her psycho husband. Oh joy. Bye, Mauricio. Nacho's family made a pact with Massimo's family that they wouldn't like step foot on their territory. But when he finally gets there, he takes out Laura's bags and brings them to her. Bro, stay in the car, you psycho. <laughs> she can get her own bags. <laughs> Look at the way Massimo's standing on the edge of the beach. <laughs> it looks like he's a boss in a video game or something. I do not want it to be but. I can't forgive myself. Why is this scene trying to convince us that Mosmo's a good guy? It's never gonna work. I didn't really understand it back then. Good guys don't kidnap women that they think are attractive because they want to marry them. Are you back, baby girl? <laughs> are you back, baby girl? Oh 
my god. They couldn't just end the movie. They have to put me through another music video. Oh, they're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger too. She's not gonna answer him? Cool. At least the movie's over. Yes! I've never been happier to see credits in my life. I don't even think I watched a movie just now. What even happened in that movie? Laura had sex with Nacho finally. She had like a thousand dreams about having sex with people. She started making dresses or something. There was a bunch of shopping and eating and drinking alcohol. And then she threatened to divorce Massimo. And then the movie ended. This entire movie felt like a filler episode in an anime. And I think even filler episodes in anime have more content than this movie. I want my two hours back. These movies have the most amount of nothing I've ever seen. It's amazing that they exist and that somehow Netflix keeps paying for them. Oh yeah, I know how, because people like me keep talking about them and so people keep watching them. <laughs> Maybe this is my fault. Maybe I need to self-reflect a little bit, who knows. Anyway, I'm done with these movies, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to talk about another one. Thank you so much if you made this far in the video. Thank you to all my patrons that make videos like this possible. Leave whatever shows or movies you'd like me to review in the comment section down below. And if you haven't checked out my clothing line, alienclothing.com, that's A-Y-Y-L-I-E-N clothing.com, then please do so. I've put tons of money into those clothes and I think they're awesome. So I'm pretty confident you'll find something you like. That will do it. Thanks for watching this video. I guess I won't be back to watch another one of these movies. Baby girl. Baby girl.